Welcome back to DNJ React, where music sparks conversation. Yeah, every day. In today's conversation, we've got the rise of Bangtan 21 greatest moments. This is our personal collage that we've put together of the whole series basically wrapped together in this one video. So we're really excited to share it with you guys. And I'm also really sad that this whole series has finally come to an end. Yeah, it's been a long process, man. It's learned been, a lot along the way. Yeah, we've learned a ton about these guys, and boy, how wrong were we at the, the very yeah, beginning? Yeah, at the very beginning, I actually feel bad because we were pretty brutal with some of our comments. And Yeah, we've yeah, also learned a lot about ourselves, too. Like ourselves, not to, and also about Asian culture in general. Yeah, know? well, just about ourselves, too. Like, going back to that is, you know, we've learned not to judge, you know, yeah, any exactly. new artist, like, right off the bat. It's that was a bad idea on our part. Yeah, I would say in the very beginning because we were more rock and roll and like heavy metal based, that's kind of all we really wanted to focus on. I remember telling people, hey, we don't like the softer stuff, you know, we don't want to get emotional. And You, you just know, have to look at it differently. Yeah. You can't, you it's can't really open follow, our eyes. You can't follow the same pattern as that we were in before where we just listened to rock and stuff and that was right. it. That's like, you were just in a pattern. It was hard yeah. to get out of it and you, you almost like, want to shit on yourself for getting out of that pattern for some reason. I don't yeah. know, it's like an ego thing. Yeah, but we did learn a lot and we learned to open our minds and, you know, kind of have a whole new genre of music now that we listen new to, which is pretty too. crazy, you know? Yeah, yeah, new perspective too on, on music and um, where it comes from and the different cultures behind it. Yeah. So it's it's really opened our eyes. And Absolutely. It's all because of the rise of Bangtan, this, this literally opened our eyes on on you know exploring new music and being comfortable exploring new music and expressing it to you guys live exactly um so thank you bts yeah thank you guys we really appreciate it also um right after this right after you guys are done watching this video go into our community page because we're putting up a new poll for um long forms on bts and we want to know which series you guys want next um because I'm, I'm kind of sad that this came to an end. So yeah. unfortunately we have to do a new one. I wish this yeah. they just kept going forever, but they don't. it doesn't, so it's on to something new. So yeah, we'll have three choices in there. Yep. You guys pick the number one best choice and that's the next one we'll start working on. Yeah, so go and vote after this one. But with that being said, we hope you enjoy. Let's dive in. Let's go right now. Apprentices are here from 1 to 3 p.m. for four hours of lessons and five hours of practice. If they go to school, they have to be here from 6 to 10. Jesus. That's, that's your whole day, whole life. There is nothing. 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah. There's nothing else that exists. And that you gotta it. think, they have to go to school, too. Well, that's, that's the school. So if you go to school, that's the hours from 6 to 10. So you're doing your school immediately after you're going into practice. Oh, I see. Oh, damn, yeah. dude. There's, so that's intense, man. Like 14 hours, 15 hours, something like that. Yeah, God, that was a long freaking day. Damn, dude. You know, and these kids are young too. You know, it's not like you're talking about adults going to work for 15 hours. You're they're talking not getting about kids. Paid, like, yeah, you're not, <clears throat> they're not getting paid. They're just going to practice in the hopes after four or five years of this, they might be the ones to make it. That's absolutely brutal. So this was happening with K-pop. Rock stars be born, you know what I mean? So what is yeah, it like said, living as a K-pop? When when we said in like past videos when we first started watching them, they're like, why why are they wearing so much makeup? And then people in the comments were like, um, they're like, well, if you guys like like old rock and stuff, like those guys that were the hair bands and shit, like mm -hmm. they were wearing makeup and like long hair and wearing like tight leather outfits and stuff. So when they put it, when people in the comments said that, I was like, oh shit, like they're right. 
Yeah, there's hair bands that did that kind of stuff, but they weren't necessarily trying to be women or be feminine. Like Ron, still, Rob Zombie still, and stuff, they had like the black eyeliner and like black lipstick and well, stuff. Well, he's more like horror type. Yeah, that was more you know, like a horror vibe, I guess. Yeah, that's but like it's still technically vibe. makeup. But then like, you know, the stuff that I was listening to was like your hardcore, like heavy metal, death metal, like pretty extreme. Those guys are just like, they're almost like Hell's Angels. Yeah. You know, just long hair, leather, just want to just kick ass, you know, very manly, but they got long hair. Right. But they're not feminine walking around dainty twirling wearing pink and feathers and you're not gonna see which, that which we weren't used to because right. we didn't understand the culture yet but now yeah. that we understand the culture you know like it makes more sense now yeah and it also probably helps makeup brands too oh yeah they're making like, money well, off these guys yeah like bts is wearing this shit yeah. like so should you i'm sure millions, i'll get you i'll of, get you one for christmas well i know millions of men around the world are actually buying like all of makeup oh for sure you know, eyeliner and Blush and I think they've kind of normalized yeah. that, especially over in that um, yeah. that culture. Like yeah, it's normal. Kind of bigger over here in the U.S. So I'm sure before you know it, you know it'll be the norm. Pretty much everybody at work that you go to see, you won't be able to distinguish uh, the men or women. They're just all going to be the same. Well, everyone's it's pretty 50, now. 50 equal. Damn. Suicide is the fourth most common cause of death in South Korea. In the age range of 10 to 19 years old, mm. South Korea has the highest suicide rate in the world. Mm. Mental health what the is fuck? A joke in Korea. There's a lack of counseling for kids in South Korea. Tragically, some say suicide is the only option. Dude, wow. It's so crazy because there's brutal. like such a massive world out there that they could have a better life in certain yeah. sections. Like, but you're in, you're in this one little country and like this is like what society has taught you like this is all there is you have to do this you have to go this route this is the way to do it and you're kind of just like okay you it's don't, weird you don't like, know. the human mind like conforms to everything around you mm -hmm. and like you almost lock yourself in place mentally unless like i don't know there's some outside influence that kind of shows you another light yeah you know but other than that, yeah, I feel like these people are just crammed in this dark little space. Well, it sound, like, sounds like that was that's what BTS was. It was kind of like that light that yeah. kind of showed these kids, the youth, that, you know, hey, there's it's, something different out there. You can follow your dreams. It doesn't have to be this, like, bleak, you know, pathway that you're following. There's more out there. But it is weird mind. going from, like, working, like, a like say, a 9 to 5 for, like, let's say 15 years mm -hmm. and then, like, doing something that's like less respected but gives you more joy yeah. you know what i mean like but you won't like impress a lot of people you know what i mean what? it's hard to get out of that groove for a lot of people because that's what they're like well, i think too many years. people are trying to impress and trying to make other people happy you know they're looking for other people's approval rather than looking within themselves and being like this is my life i have to live this for the rest of my life i need to do this for me so whatever is going to make me happy it may not make me a billionaire, but at the same time, I've got peace of mind. You know, I'm not going insane every day, killing myself. But also, like, their family unit over there is so strong, mm -hmm. you know, and, like, they're so structured. Like, dude, look, they're 15 hours at school, and then they're going That's right brutal, into another, man. like, whatever they said, mini school or something. Yeah, I mean, our school's here are, like, eight hours a day, and we thought mm -hmm. that was rough. I mean, they're doing double the time over there. It's like, there is no downtime. Like, literally, you wake up, you're at school. You get off, you're going back to school on the same day, and then you go home. You probably got enough time to like Sleep eat something, shower, hours. go to bed, back up, go do it again. That's not healthy on the human no, body. That's just brutal. It's 
it's amazing like how young they are there because they're like teenagers still at that point right they're mm-hmm. like probably what 17 18 19 years old and like yeah they're so like deep in the thought at that point it's kind of like weird to reflect like it almost makes me reflect back when i was like 16 17 18 19 if i really like going deep into my thoughts like that and really assessing yeah. myself it's I kind of like I, I don't think i did either <clears throat> No, not to that level. I mean, I know when you were a kid, like with powerlifting, you really assessed yourself as like physically what you were doing, what you could do better. But I think in I sport I did, but yeah. not like my my everyday self. But like, think about right. it. To them, like that that's their sport. Like they're in it twenty four seven, so they don't get a chance to break yeah. like I did from powerlifting or right. CrossFit or whatever, and go back to just training people and just being normal. Yeah, you know crazy. so they're always in competition mode they're competing with the best bands around the whole entire world yeah, you know true. they're always trying to beat everybody on the yeah. billboards and so i think they have to almost assess themselves and try to figure out ways to make themselves more appealing and better i mean they don't really have to go out of their way to be appealing i mean they're just naturally humble and nice people yeah and, they're really cool which connects on a deeper level with the, with the masses if you think about it because right right most people are never going to see this type of fame or stardom or know what that's like. So no, I mean, that's, the humbleness kind of... That's like your 0.01% of the population that's ever going to live that life. Probably less than that, honestly. Yeah, seriously. Seriously. <laughs> It's crazy that people think that they're manufactured. <clears throat> like, no, nah, dude, they're like all original. It's like all their stuff. They literally started from scratch, you know? It's crazy too, because they have all this content out there showing, I literally know. documented yeah, every, literally every step of the way. And it's like how people can like deny, you know? It, it doesn't make sense. Like people just think, I think a lot of things, think, I think it's just, just jealousy. I think people just think what they want to think and then they just stay. Like it just, they like, Almost like with politics over here, like you can show a politician did something on video and the side that likes that guy would be like, no, he would never do that. Exactly. And it's like video documented. They're just too just... stuck in their ways and stubborn to open their mind right. and actually see something different. Yeah. Well, they're, they're so dedicated. Literally, that guy was like, hey, go write something about, like, your life and make it, make it meaningful. And, like, the first thing they did was literally go straight from there to yeah, start writing. Start writing. Like, no fucking around at no. all. No. Checking out the city or anything. Right. Like, straight into work. No, they want it bad, man. You can see it. Mm-hmm. Moscow, Russia. Wow, man. <laughs> wow, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yo, Russia Hotel, Tocha. Ba-bam. Ba-bam, ba-bam. Is that what they think we sound like in English? Whoa, man. <laughs> You're making fun of us. <laughs> That's okay. weird. You sound like that. I like that. <laughs> There's a there's this uh, Asian guy on uh, Instagram and he makes fun of white people and oh, he, really? he like pushes his eyes together <laughs> and, <laughs> of and he's like, hey, do you have any non-free dairy milk? <laughs> I think I'll use my credit card today. <laughs> hey, Bobby, look, look, I'm American. I think I'll use my credit card. 
Do you guys have anything non-dairy? <laughs> anything gluten-free? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> their, their language sounds like so aggressive. I know. I always think like they're always mad. I know. It's like they're mad or yelling at each other all the time. I have a couple friends who are, uh, where is she from? She's from Viet Vietnam. And when her and her mom talk to each other, they're like, bah, 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 bah. It's like and yelling I, and at each me other. and my friend are just like in the corner, like, <laughs> should we intervene? But they're, they're just like talking. <laughs> they're normally. just casually they're talking. They're like, what do you want for dinner? I'm like, I want this. But it sounds like they're yelling at each other. <laughs> It's just RM and the boss. <clears throat> That's pretty cool that I took the time to like sit with him, see how he's feeling, what he's thinking, you know, yeah. and making sure that he's okay mentally and then also making sure, you know, he's on track with, you know, recording, coming up with music and mm -hmm. thoughts and ideas and giving him the freedom to, you know, make his own music and write his own lyrics. Yeah, he's like, cool. he wanted to make a mixtape and he's like, yeah, you should release it. Yeah, that's Just pretty cool, man. Pretty much let him do what he wants. Yeah, because from what we've learned, a lot of the other uh, K-pop artists don't have that freedom. They a lot don't. of them, you know... The entertainment company already has the music and stuff, kind of the lyrics, everything, and they just want the artists to just go out there and do it for them. Right. You know, but they don't have the freedom to actually write a lot of it themselves. Yeah, big hit allows them uh, a lot of freedom. Yeah. It's it's really cool to see. That's awesome. That's gotta be hard, man. That, that's gotta be tough. So I guess this is like their first music video that they're doing. So it's not like them performing like just dancing choreography. Now they have to act. Yeah. You know, so that's a whole new role to take on that they yeah. haven't done before. So that had to be nerve wracking to try to do that for the first time, I bet. Oh, I'm sure. But I'm sure it's also, they're so creative and artistic. Oh, yeah. It's probably like fun for them to explore new avenues oh, that sure. they, they haven't seen or yeah, tried definitely. before. But they're so hard on themselves too that I'm sure they're like perfectionists, you know, that they're not actual actors. So I'm sure they were probably beating themselves up trying to like make sure it was perfect and they were doing the roles correctly. And well, them and the company. Yeah. You know, they probably do so many retakes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just like a movie, you know, when they film, they just have to do it over and over. Where you over. saw the little draw ups, like the little sketches of each scene that they were doing on the pieces of paper. Mm -hmm. So they already had it kind of pre scripted out what they wanted it to look like. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> like siblings, dude, they like fight with each other. I was gonna say, it's like little brothers in the back of the car just fighting with each other, mom and dad having to turn around and yell at them to stop. <laughs> I really don't understand how someone can time manage, like, how they time manage because they have so many different things they have to do between, like, just doing their typical lives, their blogs, or their vlogs, and then you know, the other promotions around the world, plus performing, plus practicing for performing, plus coming up with new lyrics, writing the lyrics, getting everything finalized, making sure you sing the lyrics correctly. Dance, choreography, everything. You like, well, I mean, you have producers management. and you have managers and you have people that kind of take care of all that stuff, put schedules together and then they have to follow it. Yeah, I guess. So, yeah. I'm sure that helps. Whew. Tough. Yeah. You do wrestling too? Yes. So the girls wrestle? Pretty good. Yeah. What? Oh, snap. That'd be fun to go watch. That'd be really cool to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, boy, you can run. Quick. Look at that. Dang, he's quick, boy. Look at that. Holy cow. We're in second right now. Yeah. Wow. 
Oh, snap. Get it, get oh, it, get snap. it, get it, get it. No oh. way. Ten top. So the BTS one. Wow. Jim Cook took it. Nice. Hell yeah. Dude, they're, they're actually just, fast, they, man. They just can't lose at anything. No. I have no idea they'd be that quick. <laughs> It's really cool that they do everything though. It's not just like running. It's like the archery, the oh, running, yeah. the wrestling. Like that they, was. I want to see like all the other pieces that they had to do. I'm kind of confused though, like what this is all about though, because they haven't really know. explained much of anything. So is this like a, all the all the K-pop bands come together and like compete? In I sports? guess so. It, yeah, it looks that way. I mean, that would make a really cool show. I mean, I would how, go see it. Hell yeah, to see all the guys in K-pop. And I know, like, BTS isn't a part of K-pop technically, but it would just be cool to see all the bands, yeah. like, just compete like this. But maybe that's exactly what this is. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That's pretty amazing, like, I don't know if you pay attention, but if you watch their expressions and how they connect with the person in front of them, like, they're literally looking eye to eye with mm -hmm. the person, paying attention and taking in what they're saying. Like, I've seen other signings and stuff where all they do, they just look down, hand it to them, look down, hand it to them, just pass them on, just try yeah. to get them out of the way. They're actually, like, trying to connect with each person in front of them. Like, yeah. Well, really they, listening. They actually appreciate their fans. That's the thing. Like, they really care about them and care about what they think of them, right. too. Yeah, that's really impressive. Yeah. I was just thinking about the beginning part when they were all kind of talking about like their end and their peak and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And most <clears throat> artists, I feel like because they're in the moment so much, they don't think about the, the end. end game, like yeah. what it's going to be like. They have no idea. <clears throat> yeah. They're well, just... there's so much hype and excitement, adrenaline, so many things going on. And it's moving so fast. That's probably the last thing they're thinking about is like what happens on the other side when all of this kind of fades and goes away then what love, do i do i love their like <clears throat> logical way of thinking you know mm -hmm. like they must have seen so many people like come and go before them and you know yeah. that's really put things into perspective well yeah. on, i think it was chapter 11 we just watched they had another band that was a little older than them more experienced that was kind of mentoring them so yeah. i'm sure maybe that band has said hey guys there's going to come a downside. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to start preparing and planning ahead for what's going to be after this. You mm -hmm. know, this isn't going to last forever. Enjoy it while it's here. But at some point, it will come to an end. Yeah, it's really cool. And it's it's like that with everything in life, too. It doesn't sure. matter really what it is. Like, I mean, your peak physicalness as a male, yeah. you know, and your everything comes and goes to late 20s and then 30s, yeah. mid 30s comes and you kind of fall off. But nobody really thinks about that, you know, right. beforehand or like longevity like you're playing these sports and stuff and it's just ruining your body in your young age but you don't think about that when you're feeling your strongest and no because it's you're you at your peak you're at the height of everything it's when all the excitement and adrenaline's kicking and then all of a sudden that time comes and it hits you and you're like holy crap but that translates over to a lot of different things like investing you know too yeah, like business. everybody's like hyped up when their business is doing good everybody's yeah. hyped up when stocks crypto real estate's doing really good and like yeah. you know think about like 
what goes up must come down. At some point, it's got to come at down. At some point, yeah. So it's yeah. like, it's how cool. do you plan and prepare for that? <clears throat> it's cool to see someone as big and famous as them understand that there is going to be an end. Yeah. It sucks too because I feel like the crowd, like they care about them, but once they're at this the concert, like they don't care if you're. No, they dying. want they want the show. They want the show. Like they came to see you. So, yeah, yeah got to make it happen, man. That is brutal. That happened uh, to Katy Perry. Not that she was out of breath, but her boyfriend broke up with her right before she was walking up on oh, stage. Crap. He like texted her like, "We're we're done." How brutal is that? Yeah, she was like bawling her eyes out, and then she just like turned it off. Like she was like Dang. super sad, and they're like, "Hey, you have to get it together. You have to get it together." And she was like, da- like bawling, crying, and then she just like stood up and like turned it off wow. and like just walked on stage and was like, "How's everybody doing?" I'm like, "Geez, that's dude. impressive." Just like swallowed all of that. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty impressive. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> They never give themselves enough credit, which I don't understand. I mean, they're, they're on top of the world, number one in everything. And it's like, how can you still look down on yourself and like have doubts? Like you've accomplished everything. That is pretty crazy though, that he didn't really know how to sing or dance. And yeah, you know, look at him. I know. Number like, one. The dancing is one thing I feel like a lot of people could pick it up. Train long Singing's enough. Singing's different though. Singing, you're like, I feel like you're born with yeah. that. Yeah. Because there's some people who just have like raspy ass voices and can't sing. So yeah. the fact that he trained both of those skill levels and is like amazing Mastered, now. Mastered it. Yeah. yeah it's, it's pretty impressive. Super impressive. It's so crazy that in sixth grade he already had that in his head that that's what he wanted, that was his dream, what he was going to do, and now look where he's at. I wish I knew what I wanted to do when I was in, in sixth, sixth grade. grade. <clears throat> that's crazy, man. Yeah, I was just going to school and playing around with friends and just being dumb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, same. Wow. You know that's what incredible. um you know what I noticed about a lot of like really famous artists like including Taylor Swift is they literally write down anything that comes to their head, they mm-hmm. pull out a notepad and start writing yeah. stuff down so they can piece their songs together later cuz right. That's what she said in her interview. She's like, everything I think of, like people think I'm weird, but I just pull out and I'll start writing down like a piece of a song. Right. She doesn't know what, like what it's going to go to. She just writes it down so she doesn't forget yeah. it. All these little pieces of inspiration, they all eventually come together as a song. Yep. Fandoms banded to try negative hashtags and kind of part. But what is I don't understand. Uh, when this article does it say like what he was? Huh?
They don't say it. The death threats is crazy to me. You copied words, so that means you should die. Yeah, that's, that's intense. Beijing is I'd be afraid to go on stage after that. Yeah, seriously, man. All those crazy people. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I would be afraid to go on stage if I was them in the U.S. Because the U.S. people like to shoot people all the yeah, time here. That's like crazy. a fun thing for everybody to do. So I wouldn't. I would be terrified in the U.S. But like other countries that have, you know, like. Um, stricter gun laws, stricter or, gun bans. laws or banned gun laws like Japan, yeah. Ch China, like all these places. Um, they'd probably be fine, but I'd be, I would not come to the U.S. if I was them. That's crazy, though. I mean, let us know like what song he was accused of for plagiarism. Like, yeah, because they're not mentioning it in here. Yeah. I'd like, really like to know. They're saying it's just such a good vibe. You just feel the energy. Yeah. I'm never gonna get that whistle out of my head. <laughs> you don't know BTS? You better get familiar real quick because the Korean now. boy band is everywhere. BTS. Come on, come on, yeah, I know, Fred. You know. <laughs> Wait, can we talk about BTS? <laughs> I am fully in, what is it called, the army? Mm -hmm. I'm fully in it. You're part of the army now? I think they're putting all of our groups in the U.S. to shame. That's how you freaking be a fan. BTS came through and say, because BTS are those men, they are those guys. Now to see TV and see like these Korean artists performing in Korea, anywhere globally, it is so amazing how K-pop has changed. I'm so proud to say I'm a Korean singer. I was born in Korea. <laughs> song you watched? I don't know. It yeah. looks like it. Oh, yes, it wow. is. Dude, I love this song. Yeah, this one was really good. Yeah. Yeah, this one was pretty badass. Such a turf, like, different yeah. change of pace with that. Satoji was not afraid to tackle on social <laughs> issues in his songs either. I like how they like that too. Yeah, I know. So cool. By being you go from pop to heavy metal. Yeah. Like, they don't care as long as BTS yeah. is performing. They're like down with whatever. This is the very reason why we can have some of the socially aware K-pop songs we now have today. Crazy that dude was from the 90s. He still looks just as young as them. Yeah, yeah they don't age. Yeah. They got good quality food over there. Genetics. Yeah. 
They need to do more songs like that. That's pretty sick, you know, all the fireworks. Yeah. Yeah, I like that song, man. That would have been cool to see BTS perform with them. Yeah. Those people don't know how lucky they are. <clears throat> I wonder if that's the last time BTS will perform something like this. I don't know. I hope they do more stuff like this. That was freaking awesome. They always talk about the realest shit in every one of their songs. I was just thinking, like, I guess as fans or just people listening in general, you don't really realize, like, all the things they can't do that we can do. Like, you can obviously walk out of your house, go where you want, go to the store, go grab what you need, come yeah, back, you know, knows. nobody's bothering you. They can't do, like, the simplest of things without, like, Having hundreds of people bombarding them. You know, they just don't have that freedom to just relax and go do something. Like, it's got to be a production. I don't even you know think about I mean? that. There's so many extra steps of just doing basic things now yeah. because you're famous. Dude, I, all day, hands down, I'd rather be rich than famous. Oh, yeah. I would rather be so wealthy and nobody know who I am yeah. than be famous any day. Just to have your peace and quiet and just do your thing. I mean, there's a lot of cool perks with being famous. Like, sure, you get a lot of, of free stuff from, you know, big companies and of you course. basically can do everything for free. But you lose a lot of those little perks and benefits, you know, that like we're so used to. Yeah, your privacy. That's Things huge. you're used to being able to do, you can't do anymore or not very easily. You know? I would hate that, honestly. Yeah. I would hate that. <laughs>
결국엔 어쨌든 나 혼자뿐만 아니라 모두의 노력이 그래도 이렇게 다시 한번 멋진 앨범을 만들고 활동할 수 있게 해주지 않았나 싶다. 그렇기 때문에 되게 여기까지 그래도 무사히. That's that's gonna be pretty challenging. I mean, if you think about it, like almost every year trying to come out with a new album, like constantly creating new music and not only creating something new, but something that's gonna outdo what you just did previously and outperform it. Well, that's I mean, gotta be pretty tough. I mean, if you look at a lot of artists here, they don't do albums every year. No, no, it'll be a while. Yeah, it's like one several years. I mean, there's some bands that didn't do anything for 10 years before they released another album. Yeah. So. I think uh, I think BTS is God's favorite children because <laughs> they're they just blessed. Always have something new to come out yeah. with. It's just like content after content after, and it's all yeah. unique. And it excels you know? and like exceeds what they did previously. It's just amazing. nothing they do is like normal. It's no. all like blown out of the water. Yeah. Like everything is insane with BTS. Like all their numbers, stats are just like, bro. I aspire Absolutely to be incredible. there one day. That's crazy. We will. Yeah, we'll get there. What's cool too about their fan groups is like, you know how, you know, like certain genres of music idolize certain things. Like, mm -hmm. for instance, the rap is like, you know, jewelry and like gold and, you know, basically degrading women in a lot of, in a lot of cases. And then what their music is all about is positivity, creativity, expressing yeah, love. yourself, love, passion. Like that's what all those fans are there for, are those exact right. things. So yeah. it's way more positive. Learning how to love yourself and your community and the people around you. Right, exactly. <clears throat> I love what this band has done. I got interested in the music, and then I got interested in what the music stood for. And they advocate self-love, they advocate don't be afraid of failure, uh, they advocate that you are enough. They developed this, this global army that is not just deeped out fans. If we can resonate to the television, to you at home, to come out of your pocket to give to a cause, like that's work, man. That's work and that's purpose and that's like, that's changing the world. <laughs> You guys just spread love. And I love your army. I love the people who follow you. They really appreciate your music, but they appreciate the message, the positivity. That's the best That's Yeah, <laughs> now, and he was bad at singing at first. Yeah. Not anymore. Because of you guys, we are so happy. We wish you guys to be happy too. Loving myself is my whole life for until my death. You know, what is loving myself? What is loving yourself? I don't know. Who can define their own method and the way of loving myself? It's our mission. It's our mission to find to define our way to love ourselves. So it's never intended, but it feels like I'm using you guys to love myself. You guys taught me through your eyes, through your love, through your tweets, through your letters, through your everything. You guys taught me and inspired me how to love myself. So I want to say one thing. Please, please use me. Please use BTS to love yourself. You guys taught me how to love myself. Have a good one. So awesome. That is really cool.
Oh, so sad. It's all over. It finally came to an end. But fortunately for you guys, we're not done with BTS long form. That's why you guys got to go over to the community page and vote for the new BTS long form that you guys want. We need a new series. I can't let it in like this. I, I have to jump back into a new one. I feel like I just lost a girlfriend or something. <laughs> Um, we've been on such like a regimen yeah, of Monday, just, Monday, Monday. Just go, go, like, go with these, man. It's been nonstop. We can't stop now. We, we've been on a, a really consistent and good roll. So yeah. we need we need a new series. So please, guys, go over to our community page on YouTube and vote for the new series that you want. Um, we'll keep it exactly the same. All BTS long forms will be coming out every Monday at 6 a.m. Like I said, go vote. With that being said, jump over to Patreon. We got all the bonus uh, and deleted scenes for uh, every single Rise of Bangtan that's come out. Um, um, also, we have a new deal going where if you pay for the year up front, you get 15% off. Um, what else? Am I yeah, well, well, don't forget, they still get a seven day free trial. Oh, yeah. So, right. yeah, you know, go over there, check it out. You got a whole week to kind of binge watch everything over there. And, you know, if it's really for you and you want to be a part of our community, you get that 15% discount if you do the year up front. Yep. Uh, with that being said, guys, we appreciate all 10,000 of you that yes. watch every Rise of Bang Tan episode within the first 24 hours. You guys have been so consistent and so <laughs> nice to Monday. us. And yeah. what's every, up? Every Monday they're there like clockwork. It's crazy. I know. Um, yeah, I've, I I haven't ever had support like this before. So it's never, never cool, you know. Yeah. But guys again thank you so much for all the support even everybody on patreon and gofundme as well you guys have all helped us so much through this eight month nine month journey that we've been on um because of you guys this is you guys have really shaped our whole entire our whole entire channel to what it is today so again thank you thank you yeah we really appreciate each and every one of you um guys this is the wrap up we appreciate everything um with that being said go vote so we can start the new um, series. With that being said, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.